Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. Okay, so I've kind of worked this out. We do indeed have these plates here. And if we push one, it actually shows up one of the gods. There we go, we've got a stone seal. Uh, Anti-cult. God of the original light, then went forth into battle. He sent forth sheaths of multicolored light from his golden shield. The plain sparkled with a thousand fires. The skies turned red and the rivers gleamed like indorescent serpents. The creatures of the night then hid in the heart of the dark forests. Okay. Cool. Right, so we've done that one. Let's do this one next. Okay, so... Don't have this chap, do we? Stone seal. When the fires of the anti-cult... Of anti-cult had burnt out... Orth... Orth Thanos, God of the Light of Fear unslung the bow from his shoulder and thrust his hand into his crystal quiver. He shot more than 10,000 arrows, like as many dazzling sunbeams, into the lair where the shadows cowered. The creature then withdrew further into the mountain caves. Alright. See, sounds like we could use these gods at the moment. But, uh... I guess they fucked off into the stars. Okay. Yeah, this one's broken. Gods held council, then sent Gilmesh, Gilmesh, god of sovereign light, into battle. He thrust his silver lance into the sky, climbed atop the clouds, and sunk his blade into the heart of the sun. The lance melted and fell to the earth, filling every recess with light. The creatures of darkness were forced deeper into the abyss. I don't think they can force them much deeper. They're about as deep as it can possibly go, yo. Melacanth, god of blinding light, took up his golden sword and once more spread terror amongst the creatures of the night, which took refuge beneath the earth's crust. Yeah, we've actually read that one. Right, that's the one we have. Okay, now there's six gods, I believe, and one of these switches should be the end. Yeah, that's the way out. Okay. So we've got two more to get. Right, who are you? Stone seal, lovely. The, s the seven gods of light, sons of the stars from afar, sought a haven to propose their cosmic voyage. A haven of rest won over by its lim uh, limpid oceans, its towering mountains and its deep forests, its plains stretching beyond the horizon. They chose Earth. But in this distant age, which no human mind can recall, dark creatures of exceptional savagery ruled the planet. The gods of light chose to fight them. The first into battle was Hem Hemicles, Hemicles, god of starlight, who with his lightning power chased these creatures whose reign of terror spread to the ethereal corners of the globe. So... The gods actually invaded the planet, basically. The planet was fine, and then these gods decided to turn up and stir some shit. That's what you're saying. No wonder the darkness is a bit pissed off. The creatures of darkness took refuge in the mountaintops. Hello, hello painter. Oh, hello panner. God of radiance pitched a thousand suns 
burn in the earth's sky. The ocean's waters evaporated and the creatures were forced into refuge beneath the shade of the trees on the plains. Heliopena then extinguished his sons and rain fell on the planet for a thousand years. For a thousand years. You sure about that? Like, that's a lot of rain. Right, okay. Okay, so, is that all six? Yes, that is all six. Also, yeah, we can sort of make them out, but not really. Right, okay, cool. So, which one was it to get out of here? That one. That's kind of cool, the way it explains all the backstory and everything. I enjoyed that. Now, let's get out of here. I guess we could be coming back to that pyramid later. Because we need to get that. Actually, yeah, that's what we've got to do now, I believe. Kind of a weird transition there. It just kind of happened. Odd. By the way, as far as I can remember, nobody actually explains that you can use these crystals as energy source. I might be wrong, but not in so many words anyway, not without describing what they actually are. And nowhere does it mention that they respawn either. Uh, we all topped off pretty much. Grab that. I'm curious what that other energy weapon's like, but to be honest, I don't really see the point of it. There we go. Because obviously you've got a wind up time. And this lightning gun kills them in seconds anyway, so. Okay. Right. So, oh, we've got like all six of them here. I thought there was only three. Who the hell is that? Like a weird rabbit thing. Is that the fish? These are real, right, that's the bear. Right, let's examine horse, a bear's head. Right, let's put that one in there. Now, see if we can recognize any of these others. That's a ram, I think. Let's have a look, see if we've got a ram. Ah, that looks like it might be one. Or a bison. Close enough. Okay, process of elimination. That's a fish. Uh, that looks like the fish. Yes. Okay, cool. You in there? Oh. Or is that the bison? No, that's the bull. Okay, cool. Alright, thought we'd fuck that up already. Right. So there's only two left. That's so these two. So, what is that? Snake? Could be. Yeah, that looks a little bit like a snake, I suppose. Yeah, because that's definitely not a snake. So, by the process of elimination... Horse. Wouldn't have said a horse, but... Okay. Alright, that worked. 
cool. Yeah, that that last one didn't look like a horse, but hey, what the hell do I know? Stone pyramid and a charm of saving. Okay, well, guess we can smoke one of these if we've got it. There we go. Why not? Let's go. I must admit, the character model for this game is kind of odd. She's very high resolution. She looks quite cool. But, yeah, it's just a little bit too stiff and wooden. Not, she's not, it's the way she moves as well. It's definitely not up to Resident Evil Code Veronica's kind of standard. But having said that, this game uh, was made for the PlayStation as well. So the PlayStation was in mind. Right, let's get out of here. I think these dogs disappear when we get down. Yeah, they seem to. Okay, we'll sod the dogs anyway. We ain't here for no damn Cyberus knockoffs. Just here for this fucking long ass road. Definitely is a good thing we turn up on this particular night. Yeah, her running animations, it's, it's just, mm, it's odd. It's almost comical. I think it's the way her body twists around. And you can see that the designers spent too much time on her ass. And uh, <sighs> other parts of her anatomy. Right, let's see what that does. Uh Oh, that's the last Right. Thou art valiant. What? I like it that the children of light be full of courage. Take this charm for you have many more fights ahead of you. And I, Hecatonchi, wish for you to be victorious. Hecaton curious? Right, so the gods actually speaking to us. You know, of course I would have preferred this to happen in other circumstances, but I'm still very happy to have met you. Oh, Jesus! You'd never have stooped to speaking to me. I appreciate your truthfulness. Eileen, can I ask this? Uh, is there someone significant in your life? Not really. Uh, or actually, several people. Oh man, I think that conversation just gave me AIDS. Um, okay. So, where to now then? Um, I guess maybe we can get out of the fort. Does that make sense? Maybe? I suppose we have to meet Kambi now anyway, because we've basically got everything. Between us, we have all the statues. At least I think so. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the way her body just kind of like twists around as she runs. Uh, it's funny. Um, right. I wonder if Kambi's animation is any different or if it's exactly the same. So I know in Resident Evil 2, uh, they used the same animation for Leon and Claire. Oh, God. Really? Hello? Thank you. Get fucked. At least for their running animation. Pretty sure they did anyway. Now we can go. Cool. So we are making progress. Uh, I guess we're going to carry on. It is a bit odd that she decides to, you know, 
just stop and examine this very obvious fort. Very strange. Uh, let's reload. No. Oh, do want to equip it, but we also want to reload it. There we go. And nab the crystal. I wonder how that does actually reload our battery charger. Get out of here, you bastard. Like, did she just jam the crystal in? Kind of like the needler. Oh. Oh, God. Um. Well, that thing was fairly... Oh, Jesus. I'd say that thing's pretty fucking ominous, but... Seems to have handled them pretty well, at least. Oh, Jesus Christ. That thing's pretty rough. Yeah. Not sure if these are unlimited. Probably would be my guess. Man, that took a good chunk of our... Crystal. Bring that fucker down. Yeah. Okay. No point fighting these things. Yeah, let's keep running. Just keep running. There is... Oh, God. Uh, this is bad. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. What's our crystal down to? 50%. Not brilliant. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, God. I guess we can just shred these things. There's no real reason not doing that. All right, so we've got two choices. We can go round here. Which leads to some weird stuff. Kind of looks robotic in a way. Hey, friends. Not today, gobshites. Not today. Alright, let's go this way. Yeah, still not sure why they show you... Oh. Light sources. On the map. I still think that's kind of odd. They don't really seem to do anything. Yeah, these things are just going to continuously keep spawning in. So, we're just going to wear our battery out. So, if we can, just run around them, we will. Fuck those guys. Right. Wow, those guys don't take much. They don't take much killing at all. Which actually pleases me greatly. Oh, I thought that little sneaky shit was going to get a hit on us then. Oh, God. Oh, crap. Alright, that was fine. So, what's this? This obvious... Oh, God, they respawn? Oh, Christ. Not a fan of that. Everything... Oh, fuck off. Right, not sure why I can't pick this up. The way you pick items up in this game is shit. Like it is actual shit. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say they didn't actually test this. Because, I mean, I can see it right there. Is it further in front of us? Oh, right. We haven't actually come up to it yet. It's literally there. Right, cool. Yeah. Depth perception, bitch. Oh, man. This is going to suck. But... Actually do need to pick up the crystal. Apart from the fact that, you know, we can't. Okay. Those waters of life don't actually fully heal us in the way that I was hoping they would. Right, there we go. There we picked up the bloody crystal. 
Right, let's try and be careful with this. We need these crystals. Because, man, we almost burnt through all of our ammo. Crystal, please. Why can I not pick up the fucking crystal? There we go. Couldn't even see that one. That's the way to do it. Just tap it. Just tap it. Right, how are we doing? Okay, so you can only pick up this crystal from this side, apparently. Wait for this thing to activate. There we go. Come on. There we go. And you, you little fucker. Cool. Right, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, there's another crystal there. Cool, I guess. Right, that's close enough. Ah. Oh, shit. These bloody things. Get fucked. Man, these things are really tough. Ooh. What's that? Alright, what's this? Fountain from a natural source. The liquid looks like water, but it's, uh, photophosphorant. Oh, fill your flask. Okay. I guess that just gives us unlimited water. Cool. I mean, that works. I guess. Kind of weird that in this, like, um, main bad ultimate evil place, somehow everything... It has everything that we need to live indefinitely. We have, like, unlimited ammo. We have... Uh, unlimited health. It's a bit odd. But, you know. I mean, people complain that in Res... Ooh. You want to scale this wall? Uh, I guess so. People complain that in Resident Evil... Oh, shit. You get questionably too powered up towards the end of the game. In this game, it's like you're using frickin' cheat codes. At least that's the way it feels. But, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, in the context of the, the lore of the game, it actually does make sense. Which is cool. I like the way they've... Is that...? Nope, that's just nothing. Okay. Right, how's our battery looking? We're good. Apparently, we're fine. Not really sure about this kind of bit. It just, it does kind of seem to just keep going. Oh, yeah. spoke too soon. Uh, well, he's just dropped his bag. Right, well, if there was meant to be words there, we didn't get any words. So, right, where the frick are we here? Um, so, we climbed up that wall. But uh, for what reason? Uh, okay. So where the hell do we go now? Uh, 
I'm pretty confused. Are we supposed to be going back? Uh, so... Right, that goes back further down even more. I'm... I wouldn't be surprised if there's actually something we are supposed to do back there. But... Um... Yeah, it just wasn't working. Right, hang on. Yeah, that... Mm. I don't trust this. Something's going on. Surely there must be some other way we can go here. I wish it was easier to get up on these higher ledges. It's really not great. Okay, cool. So that kind of looks like a way to go, but it's not. Uh, so what? He used the rope to go down, didn't he? Is that... Does this look back on somewhere we've already been? I mean, it does kind of look... Do we have to go back now? Like, way back? Okay. I'm guessing that's what we've got to do. We have to go, like, all the way over here just to watch bloody Alan descend into the darkness to lose his bloody bag, Chris Redfield style. Ugh. Not really sure why. They just seem to be really um, stretching this part of the game out, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing that we've... Hang on. That's the water. Right, we've already got enough water. Let's just run. Out. Yeah, they're so hard to get away from because... Their tongues actually fire faster. Well, oh, this is where he was. I think. Yeah. Right. He's got a rope here somewhere. I can see it. I can see the rope. Thank you. Uh. Oh, and he's dropped his bag. Picked up an object. Yeah, the bag that he dropped. A haversack belonging to Alan Mort. Okay, can we not, like, ig <laughs> Okay, so we've picked up his bag, but we can't actually do anything with it. Yeah, your sure game. That makes sense. Oh man, this looks like something out of bloody alien. These like eggs. Oh, this is alien, man. Oh yeah, this is very much like something out of alien. Hey Al, how you doing, buddy? If I have any time to spare, I'd congratulate you for your courage, but I'm running late. And it's also way too late for you, like for the others. Nothing can stop me now. Uh oh. Look. Look what you did to your brother. Ooh. But. Uh. The fuck? So he experimented on his brother as well and turned him into that? And his, hey, you got that. Hornby, I did it. I've got it. Quick, get back up here. All hell's breaking loose. I can't get back up. I have to find some other way. You go on. We'll meet up later. Ah. Uh. I can't. I go. I'm ordering you. 
you're ordering? Who are you? The queen? Right, we've got two save medallions here. Really? Well, that is if we could actually pick them up. There we go. Uh, so, Oban was changed into that thing. Looked like a fucking gargoyle or some shit. But, he was very much... Uh, lucid, apparently. Interesting. Let's use a charm of saving, because unfortunately, we are actually out of time. Um, so... I'm guessing that we're, like, pretty much at the end of the game now. You know, because I'm smart. Certainly seems like we're about to finish the game. I really want to finish the game. But I've got to go take my missus to get her um, second flu jab. Flu jab um, vaccination. So we're going to leave it here. And sadly, that means I'm probably going to have to wait till tomorrow to finish this game. Ugh. Kind of really want to play it. I've been enjoying this. Um, hmm. No. Oh, no, no. I better be good. I better be good. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.